Morning everyone, thanks very much for having me here today. Um, um, it's a nice segue to pick up uh, on John's point of progress because uh, cloud computing really is one of those issues that um, is uh, new, it's um, a bit of a buzzword um, and in many instances um, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of misunderstanding about what it's all about. So I want to shed some light from a legal perspective, um, some of the things that SMEs should be thinking about if they're looking to adopt a cloud strategy um, and how they might uh, deal with those issues in their businesses. Um, very briefly about me, I am a corporate partner um, at Thompson's Lawyers. We are a, an independent law firm of 58 partners across uh, four states. We have five offices, Brisbane, Adelaide, Melbourne, Sydney, and right here in Norwest Business Park. Um, the focus of my practice is on legal issues relating to information technology. Uh, the growing area of cloud computing, and uh, I'll speak, as I said, specifically to that in the context of business technology. Uh, just a, a very quick show of hands around the room. Um, cloud computing, who personally or in business utilises cloud technologies? That's a good show. That's a good show. Yeah, you know, I think in many instances um, there's a bit of a misunderstanding around what cloud offers, and, and it ranges from services like iCloud, um, App. Apple's iCloud, Dropbox, Evernote, YouTube, Facebook, um, the list goes on. And even at a business level, uh, Google Docs, uh, Microsoft 365, SkyDrive, uh, Salesforce, etc. So, um, look, I'm not going to define what cloud is all about because I'm fairly sure that you've got a good understanding already. Um, it's a hot topic. Uh, just yesterday, Senator Conroy, like him or not, was on his feet during question time speaking passionately about the NBN and the delivery of cloud. Uh, to businesses and homes. Um, at the end of the day, from a business perspective, um, all it really is is a form of outsourcing um, at its very, very basic level. Um, it offers many, many advantages to SMEs, uh, and in particular, um, those advantages include things like lower bars to entry in terms of cost, uh, pot potentially infinite scalability, elasticity, uh, meaning you can upscale without heavy upfront capital expenditure um, and downscale when necessary as well. Uh, the ability to access data from any location and the power to remain at the cutting edge of technology, which uh, in turn means use of modern and greener technology, reducing energy costs and arguably uh, direct carbon footprints of your business. Um, that said, uh, yesterday I read the results of uh, some independent research done by MYOB. Uh, they surveyed more than 1,000 SMEs across Australia, uh, and the results showed that 14% of those SMEs used cloud in their businesses, 79% didn't use cloud in any way, shape or form, uh, and the rest didn't know if they used cloud. Um, look, I've, I've referred to some of those advantages, but it, in one sense, um, it's surprising that four in five of those SME businesses uh, say that they don't use cloud. Um, but having said that, um, I think part of the problem is that there's a, a certain level of um, uh, non-appetite for risk, perhaps, uh, in adopting cloud strategies where you're putting your data and your uh, processing of that data off-site. Um, so effectively, what can you do to manage that risk in preparing for a move to cloud? I've got a couple of suggestions, and, and firstly is do due diligence on your provider. Um, effectively, they're going to be a business partner in a loose sense. Um, know who they are. Uh, consider issues like data sovereignty. Where, where's your data going to be stored? Uh, is it going to be in Australia, a foreign jurisdiction? Um, is there going to be an impact from, if it is in foreign jurisdiction, from foreign laws. Um, Singapore has a piece of legislation known as the Computer Misuse Act, and uh, the USA has the US Patriot Act. Um, all have really uh, uh, quite powerful um, uh, powers within them for government to do certain things with respect to data that's held within the jurisdiction. Check data security, including the Privacy Act, uh, national privacy principles, the Australian privacy principles, uh, whose enabling legislation is currently before the federal uh, parliament, um, and specifically um, uh, those new Australian privacy principles provide for restrictive controls on border, trans-border data flows, 
um, and uh, organisations are generally going to have a uh, greater accountability for breaches of privacy as they relate to um, those data flows. Um, check things like the services offered for flexibility, disaster recovery, business continuity, uh, service guarantees, are they meaningful? Um, if the services go down, um, it, does it match the loss that you're going to perhaps incur in your business? Um, check your, your own business insurances. Do your own due diligence on, on your own business. Check the data, identify the data that you're going to put out there. Is it uh, likely to be confidential data? Is it mission critical data? Uh, is it business intelligence data? Do a cost benefit analysis for your business on adopting cloud. Uh, check your own legal and regulatory compliance obligations. Uh, consider your need to protect your own intellectual property rights. If you have those floating around out there in the ether, um, you don't want those rights to be uh, breached in any way. Uh, and consider your own internal processes and controls and how they'll be impacted by adoption of a cloud uh, strategy. Um, consider what you have to do to get your data into the cloud, transition in and transition out. Will you get your data back if you have to terminate the relationship in a form that you can use later on easily? Um, and check related issues um, as well. Um, look, these issues uh, either relate to or impact upon your contractual arrangements. So the key is to make sure that you take the time to negotiate those terms. Uh, don't just simply accept that what your service provider is offering you is not negotiable. Um, it is. Um, and uh, that the cloud provider uh, give the contract they give you gives you adequate protection for your business needs. Um, look, I don't mean to um, impose doom and gloom um, by this little talk. Uh, in fact, uh, you know, my view is it's a great technology. We'll see greater adoption of it in the years to come. Uh, and this talk is to encourage you to look at adopting those strategies for your business. Um, the key message here is to make sure you do your homework at the end of the day. And if you do that, you'll manage the risk and you'll have a successful business continuing on. Thanks. Thank you very much, Brendan. Thank you.